Empire of Persia is crushed, and its people acknowledge you, their ruler. You have matched the achievement of the greatest conqueror the world has ever known, a man whose name echoes throughout history. Having conquered Persia, Alexander continued into India. He smashed King Porus at the Hydaspes River, but his men Exhausted, homesick, and unsettled by their king's bouts of increasingly unbalanced behavior, finally refused to go any further. Despite his fury, Alexander had no choice but to lead his tattered troops down the Indus and then west towards Babylon, where hundreds of his men perished in the Gedrosian desert. Babylon would be the new center of Macedon rule. Further steps would be taken to create an homogenous culture and a new fleet would be born to challenge Arabia and Carthage. But none of this was to be. On his return to Babylon, Alexander finally met an opponent against whom all of his courage and skill was useless. He succumbed to a fever. And at the age of 32, the man who rode unscathed from countless battlefields died in his sickbed. Truly, Alexander had earned his epithet, the Great, and in the process attained immortality.